The Legend of Pineapple Once upon a time in a town of Iloilo, there lived a mother. She had a beautiful but lazy daughter. She is called Pinang. Whatever Pinang wanted, she got those. Pinang grew up into a sport girl. One day, the mother got sick. She asked her daughter to do cooking for once. Pinang! Pinang! Come over here, Anak. I am very sick. Can you cook porridge for me, please? I am too weak to get up. Ping Nung ignored her mother and continued to play. Ping Nung, come over here this very instant, or else! Ping Nung's mother mustered all her strength just to say this, but it worked. Nana, do you really expect me to cook for you? said Ping Nung, stomping her feet. Ping Nung, it is very simple. Just put some rice in a pot and add water. Everything you need should be right there in the kitchen. Yeah. Ping Nung started cooking, but she couldn't find a ladle. Nana, where is the ladle? It is just in the kitchen. Then her mother put her open the back door and sneak out into the backyard. Her mother waited and waited. Finally, she called out to Pingung again. Pingung, did you cook like I told you to? No. <laughs> and why not? Because I could not find a ladle. Oh, you lazy child. I did not even bother to look for it. Here I am sick and I cannot even count on you. Her mother wiped bitterly in her anger. She shouted. I wish you would grow a thousand eyes all over your head. Then you can find what you're looking for. The next day, the mother could not find Ping Nang. She went all over the house and backyard, but there was no sign of Ping Nang. She feared that her daughter might never come back. She noticed that there is a plant growing in the garden. With her, she remembered the angry words she said to Ping Nung. She realized that her anger cursed her daughter. Ping Nung had turned into a plant with many eyes. To honor the memory of her beloved daughter, she named the fruit Pania, or for English, pineapple. She took care of the plant and the fruit flourished all over. It became popular in the entire country. The end.